are you? How are you, friends? My name's Miss Monica. What's your name? Oh, well, I'm so happy you decided to come to Circle Time today. <gasps> Did you hear that? Listen, listen. Put on your listening ears. <laughs> I think I hear our good morning train coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing purple. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing blue. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing pink. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing orange. Choo choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing green. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing yellow. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing black. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing white. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing brown. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing red. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends. And we'll say hello to everyone that's come to Circle. Choo choo. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Circle Time, and thank you. Good morning, train. I'm so excited you're all here. How are you feeling today? Hmm. Well, thank you for sharing how you feel. Today, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, and I'm ready for us to learn. We have so much to cover today. It is a special day. It's the end of the week. Are you ready? Great. Let's head over to our Circle Time board. Come on, let's go together. Okay, my friends, now that we're here at our circle time board, I need to find my, my pointer, my circle time pointer. This week I'm using the orange pointer. Are you ready, my friends? We should start with our days of the week so we can find out what day it is today. Will you help me sing? Wonderful, get it ready, get it ready. Here we go. There's Sunday and it's Monday. There's Tuesday and it's Wednesday. There's Thursday and it's Friday. And then it's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 One more time. There's Sunday and it's Monday. There's Tuesday and it's Wednesday. There's Thursday and it's Friday. And then it's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 We did it. And now let's find out what day it is today. So let's head back to our board. And yesterday was Thursday. It was dance party Thursday. Did you have fun? Oh, I had so much fun during dance party. So, yesterday was Thursday. Let's go down one. Do, 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 do. Oh, that means today is Friday. Yes, today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, yes my friends, today is Friday. Can you say Friday? Great, F for Friday. Let's put Friday on the board. It goes up here, all the way up there. Now let's read the sentence together. It says, today is Friday. Let's read it one more time together. Today is Friday. It sure is. Today is Friday. It's the end of the week. Now let's keep going. Let's go down to the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? 
what's the weather where you live? You may have to go look out your window and then come back and tell me what you see. I'll give you some time. Are you back? Great! What did you see? What's the weather where you live? Ooh. Ooh. Well, thank you for sharing what the weather is where you live. Let's find out what the weather is here, right here where the Circle Time classroom is. I think we need to go look out our window. Will you come with me? Yay! Okay, let's head over and look out our window. Let's go together. Okay, my friends, now we're here at the window. Let's look outside. What do you see? Ooh, what do you see? Oh, my friends, I see rain. It's raining, it's pouring. It's raining today here where the circle time classroom is. So we need to find a picture that represents the rain, a rainy day. Will you help me find a picture? Great, let's go back to our circle time board so we can find that picture. Come on, let's go together. Okay, now we need to find our picture that represents a rainy day. Hmm, let's see what we have here. Let me put my pointer down first. Oh, I have, hmm, this picture. Does this represent a rainy day? Oh. No, this is a sunny day picture. We'll save that for a sunny day. We need a rainy day picture. Oh, how about this picture? What do you think? Is this a rainy day picture? Oh. No, this is a cloudy day picture. Now, there are lots of clouds when it rains, but there's no rain in this picture. Let's keep looking. Let's try again. Oh, my friends, I found this picture. What do you think? Does this represent a rainy day? Yay! Yes, it does. This is our rainy day picture. Let's put it on the board right here. Now we can read that sentence. I'll put it down a little bit. Let's read that sentence together. It says, the weather is rainy. Let's read it one more time. The weather is rainy. It is, it's a rainy day today, my friends. Oh, well, it's a rainy day. We need to help our friend Piggy. Piggy Pig is here. Hello, Piggy. Can you help me get Piggy ready for this rainy day? Wonderful. Let's start with Piggy's shoes. Should she wear her flip flops or her rain boots, her pink rain boots? What do you think? You can point or you can say aloud. Oh, well. If you chose rain boots, I agree. Let's give her rain boots, keep her feet dry. Save the flip flops for another day. Okay, piggy, pink rain boots. And now, oh my friends, let's give her her skirt. She loves to wear her skirt with her rain boots. She has a purple one today. Now, should she also wear a t-shirt or her raincoat? What do you think? She has a raincoat with a hood and she has this t-shirt. You can point or you can tell me aloud. Oh, okay. If you chose raincoat, I agree. Let's save the t-shirt for another day and give Piggy her raincoat. Piggy Pig, there she is. Oh, my friends. And what else? Hmm, I think something's missing. Maybe she can hold something in her hand that will also help to keep her dry. What is that thing called an um? Umbrella, if you said umbrella, you're correct. Let's give Piggy the umbrella. Okay, Piggy Pig, here's the umbrella. I think she's ready for this rainy day and you all helped. Thank you for helping. Have a good day, Piggy Pig, see you later. Okay, now it's time for us to keep on going. Let's move on down to our letter of the week. Who remembers, who remembers what the letter of the week is, what the letter of the week is? Who remembers, who remembers what the letter of the week is, what the letter of the week is? Do you remember? What's our letter of the week? Oh, I'll give you a hint, a little clue. Every letter makes a sound and this letter says, ooh, 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 ooh. 
like lion. Yes. Letter. Dun, 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 dun. What letter? L. L says, ooh. L for lion. L for lemon. What other things start with letter L? Did you think of some? Oh, shout them out. Tell me. L for? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, you thought of so many things. And L for lollipop. So many things start with letter L. Let's put L on the board. I'm going to put my pointer down. Put L right here. Letter L. Now, this is our uppercase L, and this is lowercase L. And today, we are going to practice writing uppercase L and lowercase L. So if you need to go and get a pencil or a marker or a crayon, whatever you have, you can go and do that. I have my markers right here. I'm going to practice with you. I'm going to write the letter L over here on the board. You can watch me, or you can write along. Yeah, you can try, and we can do this together. You can practice right along. Okay, today I'm going to use the purple marker to start. I'll start with a purple marker. And the first letter we're going to do, we're going to do letter L, but the first one we're going to do is the uppercase L. So, I want you to watch me first, and then we'll do it together. So watch the first time, and then we'll do it together. Are you ready? Great, okay, so I'm gonna do it right here. I have lots of room right here, starting with uppercase L. So we're going to start at the top, Start at the top and draw a straight line down. Straight line down. Then draw a straight line across boop, for uppercase L. Let's try it again. Start at the top. Now you can try it with me. Start at the top. Draw a straight line down. Boop. And at the bottom, you're going to draw a straight line across. There you go for uppercase L. Let's do it again. Start at the top. Draw a straight line down. Now go to the bottom and draw a straight line across for uppercase L. Let's do another. Go back to the top. Draw a straight line down. Go to the bottom and draw a straight line across for uppercase L. Uppercase L. How did you do? Wonderful. Now. Let's try the lowercase l. Lowercase l is different from uppercase l, but there are some things that are the same, and it's really, really simple to do. So we'll practice lowercase l right under the uppercase l. Now, the thing about lowercase l is it only has one step, which I love. So simple. I'm going to use the red marker for lowercase l. Watch me the first time, and then we'll do it together. I'm going to start right here for lowercase l. You start at the top and you draw a straight line down. And guess what? That's it. A straight line down. One step to draw lowercase l. Now let's try it together. Let's find another spot. Go start at the top and draw a straight line down. That's lowercase l. Let's do it again. Start at the top, draw a straight line down. That's lowercase l. Let's do it again. Start at the top, draw a straight line down. Whoa! Let's do it one more time, lowercase l. Start at the top, draw a straight line down for lowercase l. If you want to make it short, boop, I can take some of that off. <laughs> lowercase l, uppercase l. We did it. How did you do? Oh, I dropped my pointer. That's OK. How did you do? Wonderful. Now, my friends, remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Keep on practicing your uppercase and your lowercase L. Great work. Now, let's move on. We did so many things on our board. We did the days of the week and the weather and the letter. Oh, my friends, what's next? The shape of the week. Do you remember what the shape of the week is? Oh, this shape of the week has two short sides. Hmm. Two long sides. Mm, it reminds me of a book. It looks like this. Uh, there are lots of things that look like this shape. <gasps> the shape of the week is a rectangle. Yes, 
The rectangle is our shape of the week. It has one, two long sides and one, two short sides. It sure does. Okay, let's put the rectangle on the board. The rectangle is our shape of the week. And we've been thinking of lots of things that look like a rectangle, like books. Some books are shaped like rectangles. Some mobile phones are shaped like rectangles. Some cameras are shaped like rectangles. Ooh, and even some televisions shaped like rectangles. That's right. I want you to keep looking around your home and when you go outside, look outside for different things that are shaped like a rectangle. Okay, my friends, let's go over to our numbers. It's time for us to count. Oh, are you ready to help me? I think you can do a good job counting from one all the way through 10. So nice and loud. I'm going to point to the number. You say it aloud with me, okay? We'll start slow first, the first time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it again. This time, a little bit faster. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Do you think you can go even faster? Oh, let's try it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, how did you do? That was pretty fast. Wow, amazing. Well, something's missing here. This week we were counting, hmm, a bug that starts with the letter L. Ooh, ooh, ladybugs. Where are our ladybugs? Hmm, first let's erase our letter L's. We finished writing them. Let's erase those, and then maybe we can find our ladybugs. Hmm, and if I find them, will you help me count them? Wonderful, because I have them right here. All right, my friends, I'm going to place the ladybugs on the board. When I put them on the board, I want you to start counting them so we can see how many we have. Count them one at a time. We'll start with number one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. How many ladybugs do we have? How many? Ten. Ten ladybugs. But just so we're sure, let's count them one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. We have ten ladybugs. Can you say that sentence? We have 10 ladybugs. We sure do. Thank you for helping me count. You did an amazing job this week. Now, my friends, it's time for us to sing our circle time song. Let's go over to our desk. Here we go. Let's go together. OK, my friends, it's time for us to sing our circle time song today. This week, we've been singing different songs, but my favorite is the name letter song. Can we do that one one more time? Will you sing it with me? Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to use some bells today. I love my bells. You can clap with your hands. You can tap with your hands. You can use the instruments that you have at home. Whatever you have, whatever you like. Are you ready? Wonderful. Okay, my friends, get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Remember, listen for the first letter in your name. If your name starts with A, clap your hands. If your name starts with B, clap your hands. If your name starts with C, or D, or E, or F. If your name starts with D, clap your hands. If your name starts with H, clap your hands. If your name starts with I, clap your hands. If your name starts with J, or K, or L, or M. If your name starts with N, clap your hands. If your name starts with O, clap your hands. 
If your name starts with P, clap your hands. If your name starts with U, or R, or S, or T. If your name starts with U, clap your hands. If your name starts with B, clap your hands. If your name starts with W, clap your hands. If your name starts with X, or Y, or Z, clap your hands. Clap your hands. <laughs> Everyone clap your hands. Amazing. Thank you for singing with me. I hope you enjoyed that song, and I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. I had so much fun in circle time. But my friends, it's the end of the week. It's the end of circle time. I will see you again next week. I want you to have an amazing weekend with your family, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!